This is KEXP 90.3 FM, and I've made the long journey from Booth to other room. Uh, live room here with Shaky Race. Thanks for coming in so early. Of course. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, man. I'm psyched to have you here. Oh, it's nice to be here, actually. I'm, I'm really excited to be in this room. I've seen a lot of uh, great stuff come out of here. Yeah, most of your sessions with us are in the forest. So That's right. Yeah, so we thought, we'll bring it indoors and see that, how it that's goes. That's great. Well, I brought you guys some of the dirt <laughs> from that forest, and uh, I figured I would, you know, throw it on the ground, make it feel at home. It, it uh, with, with our crew here, who kind of, you know, lives at these festivals <laughs> like Pickathon, it's yeah. already all over the place. So. Good, good. We'll talk more about that and tell people about those sessions, but if you're ready to play a couple songs, we're, we're ready to hear them. All right, yeah, let's play a song. We're going to jump into a tune called uh, If Not For You.
KEXP, Shaky Graves live here on the morning show. Hard to believe a duo making that much noise. I'm a big fan of the the duos coming in though. I'm a big. I always. I don't know what it is. I think it's just less people in the room. I don't know. I'm like, well, you guys just had diarrhea planet. In yeah, we had diarrhea <laughs> planet. Not only that, we had brownout uh, as well. Who oh, were nine, I think, That's uh, serious, doing Black man. Sabbath covers in here. Oh, Brown Sabbath's amazing. Yeah, you guys, Brown Sabbath, uh, th- those were the band, those were the names mentioned when we said, who was the highlights of Pickathon? You guys both came up, so wow. it's nice you guys are both in the studio. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, that's I know. That's quite a com- it do- compliment. So they're not complimenting just on size of band, is what <laughs> I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's what they all say. <laughs> they were good, I think. There were nine of them. I don't know. Uh, you got another one for us? Yeah, we do. All right. We're, we're going to play a song called... Dearly departed. KEXP, Shaky Graves, live here on The Morning Show. I've been hearing that song a lot on my show. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 
plot. Shit. Yeah. Oh, Dual Tone has sent it to me early. They knew I'd like it, and they were correct. Yeah, that's a good label you're you're uh, you're with. Oh, I'm thrilled, man. That's a that's a that's a hell of a family. Yes, you can say hell. That's all right. A you're a hell of a family. Say, say you say do what you radio. can. Yeah, you can say hell. All hell. I could give you a list, but uh, oh, it'll just uh, it'll be bad. Yeah, hell, uh, of a, hell of a family. That's right. Dual Tone, good label, always sending us good music, and uh, by, and we knew uh, about you guys for sure. Uh, your music from our friends who go out to Pickathon every year. I know you've done a few sessions with us uh, out there that are just great. If you haven't seen them, go to kexp.org. And these guys came back and said, you know, you're always on the list of bands they dig. And you got to see Shaky Graves. And Thanks, This man. time around, was this time around the one with the capes? This was the one with the capes. All we right. went a little crazy in the woods. I was wearing a Texas flag <laughs> cape. He was wearing a Mexican flag. So we were... You know, relating our, 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 our strife from the state that we live in, you know, with the bor- right. border wars is right. what we'll call the session, border right. wars. Right. You were channeling that mm-hmm. in the woods. It wasn't mm-hmm. that you went a little crazy in the woods, which it's, happens. That's a little crazy, though, that border wars. Mm-hmm. Well, that part is crazy, but... That's what I mean. Yeah, but being in the woods can sometimes... Yeah, um, that can add, add to the crazy. I'm just going by when I've been in the woods and ended up in a cape, it's usually because weird things are going on. It's That's all I'm saying. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so where have you been since Pickathon? You played Portland, correct? No, Down there? We, we went. Uh, we went and hung out on a friend of ours's farm. And Is that all you did? Yeah, really? played awful basketball. And, really? Mm-hmm, and oh. watched something about Mary. Wow. We, well, once you see Jonathan Richmond, it's like, should we go rewatch that movie? Because <laughs> I didn't remember him being in that, but sure His enough, songs, he's, he's in it. Yeah, he's all over it. He gets yeah. shot at the end. It's horrible. I know. I know. That was one of the highlights for sure. It was film. great. I yeah. mean, you're like, is that Jonathan Richmond in this film? It is. Oh. It totally was. I didn't remember that. Boo did, and was like, yeah, man. We were walking around. He's like, is this the guy from Something About Mary? And then it's much more than that. It's Jonathan Richmond. Well, you did some acting, and then you did the music. And mm-hmm. would you go back to, I don't know if you stopped the acting, but if you would you ever combine the two? Have you put the two together at all? Sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm supposed to be in Sin City 2 for a few minutes until I get brutally killed. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've been cut out of that. But yeah, I, know, I got <laughs> killed by Mickey Rourke. It was crazy. <laughs> I got like hung by a metal cord and shot full of fake arrows and I had like fake arrows sticking out of my rear end. <laughs> when was the moment you went, how did I get here or was it never? No, this is about right. I was like, fake arrows all over me. <laughs> Look right at this, there. Tuesday. Woo! <laughs> well, I hope that makes it. Yeah, I hope so too. All right. I think it should. Do they tell you? Like, sorry, we had to, you weren't believable enough with the arrows in your ass. Sorry, we're going to have to right. nixnay on the... Yeah, the, well, I'm obviously a pretty crucial character, you know, so they called me up like, hey, man, you really took those arrows. I was like, thank you, thank you. We only had one actor in mind for That's this right. scene, and it's you. I would almost be offended by that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this you, is you. You seem like you'd be grateful of arrows. Like, well, thank you. I think about that even in a commercial or something when there's someone is being um, shown as unflattering That's right. or a certain has a certain issue or whatever it might be, and you think, well, they get that call, yeah, well, <laughs> do, are you complimented by that, or is it just work, and you're like, good, I'm I'm okay with it. I have olive-ish skin, and so I've gotten to audition for every type of, like, drug-oriented, sexual assault <sighs> character wow. in, in the world. It's great. I've gotten a few. I got to, <laughs> I got to be the evil twin on a Lifetime movie, where my good twin is, like, a six-foot-five, like, one of the biggest white boys I've ever seen, yeah. like, just sweet as pie, and it's like good brother like sketchy brother with mustache and i'm like Bleh. and you were twin brothers did you twin say? brothers mind you twin boy brothers. lifetime really taking a lot of uh yeah. leverage there that yeah. it's great it works you know <laughs> you can tell you're like he's trouble and that guy's not trouble. he looks like superman what was the name of that lifetime movie i can't tell you that. yeah okay all right uh <laughs> you also uh have a show tonight i should mention i would say lucky Lucky people got tickets, but smart people got tickets. It's sold out. Yeah. And uh, you got a great following. Like, people uh, just kind of seeing your shows and the amount of views your sessions get, even ours. Mm -hmm. Uh, You have a really loyal, loyal following. And I think you're, again, one of those artists is just very true to your fans and seems like you give them as much show as you can live. It's always something different. You feel that from from the people who are following you? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I'm I'm always in a state of development, I'd say, or education, I guess, about what I'm doing. But the nice part is that I feel like the the people who have been supporting my music for a while and and uh, have been with it, it kind of have enjoyed just watching that and contributing to it. Because again, the the live show that I play is totally different now due to the due yeah. to the audience and to the type of people, and I guess it's due to a little bit of the freedom that I get to move around in my music more. And how much does your hometown have to do with that as well? Oh, plenty. I mean, that's the incubator right there. Yeah. Um, doesn't Austin have a day named after you or something? It does. 
It does. Yeah. Not to not to take away from that, but Austin likes naming days after people. Do they run out of days? Is it like retiring numbers? No, I Eventually. you know this was like one year. I had my. That's day. it. I'm done. You only get one year. I only get one year. Yeah, but I you? I celebrate still. I throw a big party for people. I try and use that as an opportunity to like throw the cheapest show possible and pay yeah. bands the most and give away a ton of free stuff. And well, that's awesome. Yeah, I figure why not, you know? Yeah, you got to hold on to the day. No one said you yeah, can't. I'm going to have a big party. There's no law once they name a day after you and I. The Austin. first year I just went and played laser tag and hid in my house. And like, <laughs> you know, I was like, this is me day. This is my day. Then that's what I'm you went go with. Just shoot at little kids with a laser gun and go home. It's it's nice to think what your like default is if you have a day to yourself. It's laser tag. I was kind of surprised, honestly. And, yeah, and staying home. I think I ate a whole chicken. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to promote your shows now. Uh oh. Because you're coming back to Seattle. I want to mention that to people who are not making the show tonight at the tractor. You're going to be coming back, uh, swinging around November 15th at New Mo's. And you're going to be at the Bowery on October 26th as well. I want to mention that. We're going to be over there in New York then too. Really? So if you want to stop by and play in a studio in New York, we should talk. Love it. Because then we could do, that would be I think the third or fourth location. Yeah, no joke. You should come up. You can guess, Woods, you can guess DJ. You can come up and play. Really? Some, yeah. Yeah. October 26th. I'll write your people. Deal. I have to work less if you do that, so that's really why I'm saying Deal, deal. All right, okay, we're going to make that happen. Uh, And you're going to play shows all around the country. We will put those up on the real-time playlist at KXB.org. And again, the new album is out in October, Mm -hmm. uh, and Chicky Graves is going to play a couple more songs for us from the album coming up, or not? Yeah, this will be... This will be on. This will be on the album. Cool. A song called Hardwire. Well, water was wine back on Blue Mountain time While I watched your loving expire While I lay close to you There's the lace on the shoe didn't match when I knew I was hardwired. Well, you bumbled like bees, and I bought like the seas. Well, you led where no one would follow. Yes, you're hid in the mud. Let that minute end Race towards tomorrow Well, but you are as you came Mostly blessed and cocaine Yeah, just a match Begging for fire Cause I am as I can. 
came And I'll still be the same Yeah, I've got nothing to blame Oh, I was hardwired Yeah, and I Shake your graves live here on the morning show. Like that one. Thanks. That was nice. It's going to be on the new album. It's coming out uh, October seventh, and the war came. Mm-hmm. The new album. You must be very excited about. it. I am. I'm thrilled, man. This is my first. Uh, this is my first like actual release out in the world. Instead of just kind of putting it out on a flagpole and people right. being like, "What is that?" Yeah, this it's is, different, isn't it? It is different. Yeah, it's an actual release. It's very. Uh, it's thrilling. <laughs> it's like going from relationship to marriage. It's, <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of am in. I'm kind of in this now. <laughs> See, I'm still is this going to change like, things? <laughs> you see how you reacted to yeah, that? The yeah. baby The baby is coming. The yeah. baby is yeah, coming. Maybe it's the baby. Maybe that's The baby makes... Yeah. The, sure, okay. The baby's coming. The marriage has already happened. Now you're saying... That's right. <laughs> I'm getting Jesus, messed up in my yeah, getting. Yeah, what do we, okay. Which is the baby and which is the marriage? The rec- Am I the baby? I think I'm married to you. Booze the baby. Aww. <laughs> KXP's we haven't even got to talk to you yet. How you doing over there? Yeah, what's up? I'm waking up. You wake up. It is early. Yep. It is early. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Getting up so early. Are you guys going to be able to hang out here in Seattle a bit? It looks like it, right? I, I mean, we're up already. But... Yeah, you have nothing else to <laughs> yeah. do after this. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to, you know, eat until I fall asleep. I think. <laughs> okay. Isn't that, that what you good. do in Seattle? Kind of. A lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. A lot of so we don't fall asleep so much. Coffee, food, coffee, food. Yeah, coffee, we, food, we kind of, well, you, you, We're a food city. We're we're a donut city now too. What? A lot of donuts. It's weird. I don't know when it happened, but if you go out there, trust me on this, you'll find a donut. <laughs> Pretty much any neighborhood you visit. Sounds kind of ominous. It's like a, you think there's a lot of coffee shops. There's a lot of donut shops too. I think it kind of goes hand in hand. Okay. But and other than that, it's you know legal weed. Uh, you probably find that as well. I think there's uh, one store open now. So you're so. telling me donuts? Weed, weed donuts, coffee. coffee. This is like jamming my space gears. Space needle. <laughs> Up, down. <laughs> space needle, throw that in so there. So the space needle is the baby. And the, go on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> go on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> is the yes. marriage. Yeah, you got to go on the monorail to the Ferris wheel to That's get right. to the... I'm trying to think of another Seattle. I can't even think of any at this orcas, point. Orcas, they count? Yeah, they're everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, every body of water has orcas. They're you just, just look out. Yes, they're the just flying. Yeah, <laughs> lakes, <laughs> doesn't matter. Lake flying Washington. around, yeah. Yes, orcas everywhere you look. <laughs> Grunge bands on every Grunge corner. Bands, orcas, legal weed. We have a Lombardi Utopia. trophy on top of the Space Needle as well. Jesus. So we are the greatest city on God's green earth. So. That's right. Yeah, so there you go. Enjoy your day. Wow. You got one more song for us? I do. That's <laughs> segue. I, th- I thought, I think I I do. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, oh, we're gonna play a song called "Where a Boy Once Stood." I'm not gonna trick my drummer as I really want to right now, because he hasn't woken up much. <laughs> but this song traditionally is played alongside a game called "Stump the Drummer," so we'll see if I. Yeah. <laughs>
watch me closely, I'll flee to the woods. Leave a gap in your heart where a boy who wants to will cut it off and still it grows. Back in all the places you don't want it to show the most. Ow! Go call up your priest There are some fellas out here giving you grief It's settling the old loner on the outskirts of town Telling you lies, wearing you down I think so. You, yeah. wait, wait, one more. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> I knew you could get him eventually I in that would, song. Yeah. yeah, I waited to the end, but good. I thought it was nice. Appreciate nice work, man. Thank you. That was great. Shaky Graves here on The Morning Show. I cannot say enough about these guys and the new record coming out in October. And they return to Seattle in November. If you're not going to the tractor tonight, make sure you go in November and hopefully see you in New York in October. Yeah, man. I'd love That's to hang. the deal. Get to guest DJ. Don't forget. I've already said it. It's on f- film. So I have to do it now. <laughs> film. People say something. We're shooting film. film right now. Shooting so film. No, no gonna, it I'm going to put in my Beta Max, and it's going to be awesome. Film's the baby. You're the film. marriage. But w- in New York, is that legal? That's right. Okay. Right. Uh, well, I'm going to. I'm done. I'm so happy to be done with my show too, because Cheryl's up. And uh, I also want to thank everybody who helped with the last tracks day. We did nothing but the best last tracks from albums today. Nice. And this is the second day we did it because there were so many. Think about that for a second. There were so. Those songs that are hidden at the very end. We're trying to champion the album still, the, the the story that is song beginning. When you made your album, it's different, you say. You know, you're making that. Now it's like a book. You're writing the first chapter to write. I stressed about that so much. That's my jam. Like placement? Like where, placement. Yeah. Album, song placement. We were doing that down to the very the very end, too. We'd be like, oh, but. That's got to If you move the, the, that's 10, 9, two, nine 10. 11. Ah, <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> when you then write a song, you're like, well, this is going to be the first song. This is going to be the first song. Usually, sometimes there's some that are instantaneous, yeah. like second songs, track six. Right. right. It depends on how you break it up. I've always thought track twos have always been really, really strong. Too, track twos but. is the jam. Yeah. I'm a big track three person, yeah. big track nine person. <laughs> track nine? That's mm-hmm. good. So you don't like EPs, so. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know what qualifies as an EP anymore. Yeah. I say six, but... It's a time constraint. Yeah. You can have nine songs on an EP if you want. Well, what if you had six songs on an EP and each song was 20, like 20 minutes or something? Is that still an EP? Does he go by... No. It's, tw- it's time. It's I, under, it's, isn't it under 30-something... Come on, we're in a radio station, people. What is this? I don't know. We still play CDs, so <laughs> you think we know? <laughs> we don't have any choice in the matter. Okay. Okay, now we're done. Good All right, uh, look for that new full length and what order he puts songs in and tell him if uh, he did a good job or not. Yeah, Thanks. Like, oh, I totally would have put that two and three. Don't man. start, I don't even man. know what you're doing. Do uh, Shaky Graves, again, coming back in November, and I'll uh, see you, I guess I'll see you next week. I'm taking tomorrow off. Yes. Sweet. Suddenly it's a three-day weekend. Uh, I just declared it on the air. This is KXP Seattle. Goodbye. <laughs>